Hello and welcome back to The Football in Question. I'm joined by Jack Pitbrook, uh, the Athletics correspondent for Tottenham Hotspur and England. Jack, how are you doing, mate? I'm good, thanks. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Um, so, obviously, we are almost 24 hours away from arguably Arsenal and Tottenham's biggest game of the season. How big do you think this game is for both clubs? And see, obviously, seeing as they're only one point away from each other and they could potentially both close in on a league title this season, as unrealistic as that sounds. Yeah, it's a huge game for both clubs. I mean, we we did have a really, really big North London derby pretty recently uh, at the end of last season when both teams were going fourth. And of course, if Arsenal had won that game at, at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, they would have got fourth as it happens. Tottenham won. Um, but in terms of both teams being in a title race, I think the last time we had a North London derby where both teams were going for the title in the same season, I, mean, I think it's probably just about okay to say this, but you know, at this stage in at this stage in the season, was, do you remember in 2015-16, um, they had a two-all draw at the old White Hart Lane in March, when if Tot- I mean, if, when Tottenham were 2-1 up in the second half, and if they'd won that game, they would have gone top, I think, ahead of Leicester City, but they they blew it, even though Arsenal were down to 10 men, Arsenal came back and equalised and drew to all. I think I think this might I think this is certainly the first season in which Arsenal and Tottenham have both been title contenders since then. So arguably this is the biggest North London derby for the last six and a half years. Um it's obviously, you know, it's bigger because they are I mean it, this game would be huge if they were compete you know, if either of these teams were competing for the title against say Chelsea or Manchester City or Liverpool. But the fact that they are, they have been probably the two best teams in the league so far this season, does make it even bigger because, of course, they'll be, de- you know, they will be desperate for obvious reasons to to kind of uh, slow down the other one's good start to the season. So yeah, it's a, it's a huge, huge game, and I'm really looking forward to it. I think for a while with North London derbies, or from what I can remember anyway. The, the biggest advantages he can have is whether they're playing at their home ground or not. It seems that when when one team has their home ground behind them, they are they're superior in the match. Anyway, do you think that that's still a thing that affects the North London derbies, or is it kind of the fact that I don't know both teams have, have progressed so much that, that everything's to play for this weekend? Yeah, absolutely. I think that Tottenham have a bizarrely bad record at the Emirates, a record that can only be explained by as you say, home, home ground advantage, maybe there's a bit of a mental block they've got going there. Uh, Tottenham have only won once at the Emirates in the Premier League. Uh, that was the famous 3-2 win in November 2010. Since when they've gone there 11 times and not won. Which, give, given that for a big chunk of that time, Tottenham have been better than Arsenal, you know, particularly under you know under, under Pochettino and then in the last few years, for that, that for that to be the case does suggest that there is you know there are other factors at play like that that is not a normal record that you would expect. Uh, I mean it's not like Arsenal's record at Tottenham is much better, but it's uh, you know there have been so few. I mean it, it, this picture is a little bit like the Ashes like there it's very very rare that the away team will win, the home team almost always wins. So that's why I think it would be a big achievement if Tottenham could win there this Saturday. You know they would. In, in an instant, Conte would be doing something that even Pochettino never achieved, although I'm sure Pochettino would remind you of the fact that they did win a League Cup game at the Emirates. I was at that game, it was, uh, it was not nice, the only North London derby I've managed to get tickets to. Um, anyway, if there's one player that you think is vital for facing Arsenal on Saturday for Tottenham, who do you think it is and why? Obviously, there, there are a lot of Tottenham players having a good season, but one specific one? I think I'd probably say uh, Son heung Men. Um, because the way that the game's going to go is that you know Tottenham are not going to have a lot of the ball. We know that. Like Tottenham have been very, very happy to let Arsenal have possession, uh, or sorry, to let opponents have possession, and you know sit back and then try and play in a kind of possession efficient way. Whereas Arsenal are going to have a lot more of the ball and dominate, and uh, that means that Spurs have really got to make the most of the opportunities when they do have the ball. Now, Son has been, you know, started the season really badly. Like, it was the worst we've seen him play, I think, since since for the last like five or six years. But he's called that hat trick in the second half of Leicester City, and if he's if he can be that good and that dangerous, then I I think that Spurs will be able to 
hurt Arsenal on the counter because they only need you know the, the great thing about Son is you only need to like hit the ball over the top and he can run onto it and score because he's so quick and he's such a good finisher. If he's not on it and the if he play, if he's playing like he did in the first few games of the season, then Spurs won't have that same threat on the break. And if that's the case, then I think it's going to be really difficult for them to hurt Arsenal. I can kind of see Arsenal smothering Spurs a bit just because they're so good in possession and they can, you know, I'm not expecting Tottenham to have much of the ball at all. So it's all really going to depend on how much, what can Tottenham do when they do have the ball? And that's all down to Son, really.